This is the second year for Southwestern to be able to use the LLC. I'm a work study in the LLC, known as the Living and Learning Center. The first floor has roughly 10 classrooms. The second floor has offices for the Bible, the education, and the business department. There are three halls for the students to live in with roughly 100 beds. In the basement, the Student Success Center provides 40 computers for students to use any way that they need to for classes. One of the things I like about the LLC is the dorm, the way that it's set up is very much like an apartment, so it feels like a home away from home. The Quill serves Starbucks coffee, but it's operated by Pioneer Food Services, who is also in charge of the food provided in the cafeteria. The Quill is a great place for the students to hang out, to get coffee, and it's even better if you have money on your Eagle Bucks because then your parents pay for the coffee. <laughs> I'm a part of the Spiritual Life program here at Southwestern Christian University. We, here we have two chapels on Tuesdays and on Thursdays. The first chapel is Chapel A and the second one is Chapel B. But we also have other opportunities to gain spiritual life credits. These are Bible studies, devotions, prayer nights, worship services, and these will also accrue to the requirements that they, are, uh, they need to have at the end of the semester. Community life credits are required of students. And uh, these activities involve uh, athletic events, it involves uh, choir and, and music opportunities, uh, SGA events, and things of that nature. And this uh, creates an environment on campus of fellowship, of activity, of involvement, and it creates a tight-knit group of students. We have active spiritual life uh, activity here on Southwestern Christian University, but we also have rigorous and improving degree programs. One of those changes is, is the school reformed uh, the, de the degree requirements to be centralized around 120 credit hour requirements. The school also added degree programs and concentrations in teacher education, which involves uh, physical education, history education, uh, early childhood, uh, elementary education, they also added concentrations in criminal justice and added programs to the worship arts department. The school has received donations in two primary departments. The creative arts department received donations of television production equipment from Cox. The science department received donation of a microscope. This microscope allows the professor to uh, place a specimen under the microscope and it actually transmits the picture of the uh, zoomed in image to the computer and into the projector so all the students in the classroom can see. Some of the cool things happening over in the gym now, if you walk in those front doors to the left, we have our Eagle store, which is apparel for all of our uh, sports, uh, both men and women. Um, and once you enter the gym, you'll notice uh, all the banners to the left, uh, which represent our uh, participation in the Sooner Athletic Conference. The number of traditional students on campus sit a little under 500, and our um, athlete student population uh, is a little over 90%. We offer tennis, we offer uh, golf, bowling, volleyball, soccer, and baseball. Basketball. How did I forget basketball? We offer basketball, that's right. Uh, we have a new coach, Coach Mack, and he brought some folks uh, in with him, and he took over in the summer, and they have uh, a really good program that's not only focusing on the student uh, as an athlete, but as a person. Uh, and part of this program is called Uncommon. And this uncommon approach to the student athlete has them meeting every Friday and they're doing devotions that are student led and the coaches are teaching them. And they're down in the JPCC every Friday around 7 to 7.30. And its focus is to talk more about what they do as people and not only as athletes. I'm not sure if you knew uh, that we have a student here on campus, a uh, soccer player, his name is Lewis. He's been nominated two times in a row, two weeks in a row, uh, NCCAA National Player of the Week. And we have a young lady named Heather, who's a volleyball player that's been our conference, our student athletic conference attacker of the week. And our basketball team was able to climb the ranks as well, finishing the highest that we've ever finished before at Southwestern. So we've got some stellar students here that are athletes as well. 
I'm a senior and I've been able to attend Southwestern all four years. It's been great for me. College is a time where a lot of people pull away from God and they lose the relationship with Him. Being educated at a Christian university has not only caused me to grow my knowledge, but it's given me a Christian worldview and allowed me to strengthen my relationship with God the longer that I'm here. I'm a senior here at Southwestern Christian University. When I first came here, this wasn't my particular school of choice. But when I got here, I had Dr. Trammell as one of my professors. I was in New Testament, and that class really changed my life and caused me to pursue the calling God had placed on my life. From that point on, I began building relationships with students, with faculty, with the staff, and these relationships have continued to grow me and to mature me and to a point that I think that I'm going to be ready to take on the world when I graduate. Having a university our size with very strong Christian values that offers athletics, that has a very uh, professional and religious connection throughout the community where the, the students and staff have a relationship outside of the classroom. Uh, I believe that is a goal of many universities, but Southwestern, uh, we do it really well.